the Joe Rogan experience. Nigel Ben's fighting again. I know. I saw that. How old is he? He's 80,000 years old. <laughs> 850,000 years old. I think old. he's 55. He's, yeah, he's really? 55, 54, yeah. How is he doing Who's he going to fight? Um, I've heard it's Saki or Bika. Really? John Wayne Parr lost to him. Yeah, I remember him yeah. and Bika is how old? Don't know. Don't know. He's probably in the 40s. Roy Jones, 40, Roy, yeah, I think yeah. Roy Jones knocked him out, didn't he? Did he? BK, yeah. Back in the day. Yeah, and, and yeah. I know another thing you fought boxing as well, uh Joe Calzaghe. S- is there any fo- see if there's footage of Nigel Ben training recently? Like I want to know what his body looks like. Fifty five, man. He's in yeah. shape though, but I mean it, But you, re- you remember that if, fight with Gerald McClellan oh. way back in the day, yeah. back when he used to have the dreads. Yeah. yeah. And that was th- that was like the defining fight yeah. where people realized like, oh God, a guy who's the elite of the elite, like Gerald McClellan Everyone were terrified of him as well brain damage. Yeah. Well that's yeah. why I got into Hypnosis fruit for boxing And sport Is because Nigel Ben After he fought Gerald McClellan He said I'd like to thank Paul McKenna For hypnotising me And like, making me believe in myself Really? Yeah Wow So I went to an evening With Nigel Ben And I said I got into the job The career that you That I do now Through you So your influence well, he certainly needed it in that fight. Yeah. yeah. That belief in himself. If, he if, got, if that had got stopped in round one when he fell out of the ring, no one would have, no one have complained. No, no one would have complained. complained. Yeah, it could have easily been mm. stopped. Yeah. McClellan was a murderer. Oh, he was, he was a, a murderer. Mm. Is this day one back? He posted this on his Instagram. Let's yeah. see. Oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> He looks fucking great. Fuck's sake. All these old guys crazy. make me feel like shit, man. Yeah, me. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Except me. But the how? only thing is, can he take it? Can he take Can he hold a shot at that age? Do you know what I mean? Well, he looks fucking great. And like when you watch Whoa. him throw punches. You see him with Ricky Hatton on pads. Look at the speed, man. At 55, that's crazy. And he could punch hard as well, couldn't he? Uh, so he's still carrying I'm a bit of snap in them shots, which I'm it looks like it is. I'm going to need you to piss into this cup, <laughs> sir. <Yeah. laughs> We're buying into it, though, aren't yeah. we? I'm not watching it. Coming Ooh, from yeah, someone who's on TRT, <laughs> I ain't buying it. <laughs> That's amazing, man. That really is another video of him. Let me see here. So they're working on some combinations here. But, I mean, it don't look bad at all. Like, if someone told whoa, you that guy whoa. was 30, yeah. Someone told you that guy was 30, you'd be buying it. Yeah. I mean, that, it's crazy that he's able to maintain that speed. Yeah, he's got a son called Connor Ben who boxes as well. He's up, he's up well away. He's unbeaten as well. 55 is old, though, man. That's fucking old. He used to be fighting another man like, like that type of... Yeah. The only thing that I would think is, well, one thing going for him is that he did not fight for a long-ass time. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to see what he looks like without shirt on, too. That sounded gay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's not. <laughs> I'm just uh, purely as a uh, person and analyzing <laughs> athletes. <laughs> but even back when he did used to fight, all his fights were crazy wars. Yeah. So do you do you ever? I know you've had a long time off, but do you ever recover from that? It's right. And how much do you recover when you get hit? Is yeah. it all come right back? I mean, he last fought. I want to say 15 years ago. How long has it, it been? Be the last time he fought was against Steve Collins. What year uh, was he that? lost. He lost About 20, twice. 20 years ago. Twenty, 20, 20 years, years ago. ago. Yeah. Fucking. Because he's been in. He was in. He got into. Uh, he's heavily into the church and in and yeah, belief yeah. system oh, like that. Okay. Him and his wife. I think his name's. Her name's Caroline. They live in uh, Australia. Yeah, because he used to be right, a bit party animal, didn't he? Back in the day, he'd um, in his book and that it says he'd he'd have a fight and then he'd go out on a Friday night and he wouldn't come back home till Monday. He used to do DJing and stuff like that, so he was popping pills and doing all sorts out all weekend and he wouldn't stop. And still, until the promoter rang him and said, "Right, you got to fight in ten weeks." Yeah, yeah. and he used to smoke twenty cigarettes yeah. a day. And then he'd stop and then go back into camp straight away. But his hands are like that. I've met him and and I've been pictured with him. His hands are like that big. Mm. He's massive. His hands are huge. That certainly helps. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but but the, what I'm seeing there that's so shocking is his speed. Yeah. That at 55, he's still got that kind of mm-hmm. speed. And he eats what he wants, he says. So I eat what I want, I don't eat anything. He's not on a good diet. No, he just he says I eat what I want, what I feel like. But he trains all the time. Wow. Like runs like 10 miles a day and yeah but well, I'm interested yeah I'm interested. I am, I am. it's got me going now yeah. <laughs> me and you I'm not night, watching I'm, that and yeah. they were like I'm a little confused though when he says he eats whatever he wants he's not following a good diet like I would imagine that if you're gonna be at like Bernard Hopkins late in his career yeah. like he was an anomaly but you attributed it to his discipline yeah when you know he lived the life yes like, unlike anyone else didn't he yes. once he got started I wonder, I mean, if Nigel's not doing that, how the fuck is he able to, I mean... I mean, he might be doing it now, but what yes. he said he looked well, and if he's fighting for a fight camp, yeah, he might do it now, but 
when I've been seen an interview, he goes, oh, you're fish and chips, Carrie, I'm not bothered, you know. And he's like, he eats what he wants, doesn't he? Mm. His well, fight with Eubank, like, what got me into like, boxing, that first yeah. fight, was the best, one of the best fights I think I've I hated seen. Eubank forever because of that. I loved him as well. I hated him. Awesome. Eubank was a great fighter. Oh, he was a great fighter, yeah. You know, it's just it's so weird to see a guy come back at 55. It's so confusing. I don't understand what for. I mean, but he's yeah, obviously bored. got so- yeah. Yeah. Bored, <laughs> bored him, yeah. <laughs> Fucking bored. Yeah. And obviously he can still crack. Yeah. You know, that's, he probably is like, I can think I can do this. Yeah. yeah. I'd and probably be like that though if I got to that age and I hit the pad for you know what that felt alright. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> I'm Vinny, you then. Vinny, I'm coming back. I'll be, I'll be like in an old people's yeah. home Ooh, with Alzheimer's. Ooh, he's coming back. You know? Yeah, you can see the wheels spinning around. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what? <laughs> I can't wait till I'm dead old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>